In this session, I will explain about electrochemical sensor used for the reduction of hydrocarbons. Out of various hydrocarbon pollutants, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons are the dangerous pollutants which are found in air, water, soil and food. These are carcinogenic compounds and can enter into human body through diet and respiration. Hence, detecting the hydrocarbons is essential to monitor their toxicity. Several sensors are used for this purpose. The polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons may metabolize into 1-hydroxypyrene after entering the body, which is commonly found in urine sample. Some of the electrochemical sensors are used to detect 1-hydroxypyrene now let us see one of the typical sensor used for detecting 1-hydroxypyrene. This one containing a plastic strip on which three electrodes are printed. The working electrode is printed with polyamidoamine that is PAMAM and chromium centered metal organic framework that is CRMOF plus electrically reduced graphene oxide that is ERGO plus glassy carbon electrode that is GCE and the counter electrode is printed with platinum and the reference electrode is printed with silver silver chloride. The upper portion is sealed with the insulating material and the strip is connected to electrical connector and it is immersed in the analyte solution for the measurement. Now let us see the working of this sensor. The sensing electrode or the working electrode is designed such that one hydroxy pairing selectively gets adsorbed on its surface. On the immersion of sensor in an analyte solution, and by applying the required voltage by using the reference electrode, the oxidation of 1-hydroxypyrene takes place. Let us see the oxidation reaction of 1-hydroxypyrene. This is 1-hydroxypyrene. On oxidation, it gives hydroxylated species by the removal of two electrons. On further oxidation, it gives hydroquinone by the removal of two more electrons. The electrons liberated will result in the flow of current between the counter electrode and the working electrode. The number of electrons liberated is directly proportional to the concentration of 1-hydroxypyrene. Hence, the concentration of 1-hydroxypyrene can be determined by measuring the current. 